the floor to Ukraine again. Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> again in Russian. I've heard, distinguished colleague, what you've said, and I think that the mo easiest way to move forward would be the following. From your side, I mean, you, you told us what we have to do, so let me tell you what Russia should do. That is where the Russian government, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, or whoever decides, would make an appeal to your people, first and foremost, to the Chechen leadership. And instead of conducting parades during the presidential elections, these hundreds of Chechens, they should actually immediately leave Ukraine. That's the first thing. Second appeal should be made to those Cossacks. There are hundreds of them in Ukraine. Moreover, as I remember, they, there was a decision taken by the president regarding the participation of the Russian army. So there's a d dual interpretation of their presence. So it would be really right for you to make an appeal to them, for them to leave the country as well. Perhaps you might appeal to citizens who don't know where they're going, and they become mercenaries. So it would also be right to warn them against what they might do. Now, on Crimea. We were in contact with the occupying power of Crimea on the issue of water. It's an economic problem. But the m most pressing issue on Crimea is not resolved. That is, Crimea is Ukrainian territory, and we're going to have to resolve this issue regarding its return to Ukraine. This is our principled position. And nobody is rejecting Crimea. So I think that we could take a good look at this together. Thank you. Thank the representative of Ukraine for his statement. This is a meeting of 15. We cannot, we cannot continue with uh, two, uh, two representatives speaking continuously. So I'll give you one more floor. Okay. Sir, please don't be mad, sir. Uh, I'm not really sure how you want to engage in dialogue with us, but negotiations, we think, would be on a broad agenda of our relations, and they wouldn't be dictated or imposed by Kiev on one, two, three, four points. No, it would be a broad agenda on our relations, and I indeed think that our countries have great prospects for interrelations, so let's try to develop them constructively and as quickly as possible to find a way out of this most difficult time for our relations and a time, a difficult time in the history of Ukraine. And as you know, Russia didn't bring about what happened in your country, but Russia continues to be ready to help you to, to, to find a solution, if you can find the right solution or make the right decision. Here, you decided to elect a president, president who will soon be taking up his mandate, and he has to take the right decisions rather than steps which would only lead to a stalemate in the future situation, the, the stalemate that currently exists. Thank you. I thank